whether you are an unbeliever or a, or a believer if you touch sin what you are doing is that you have you have pressed the button for the protocol of death to begin to take place in your life death spreads like a cancer death takes a process to accomplish its protocol oh my I still remember some stories just like yesterday a great preacher of the gospel there was this lady we knew she was possessed with a very bitter spirit not a very not bad spirit a bad plus bitter spirit because she was an agent of the devil and if it's as if you are beginning to gain some mileage in the spirit she becomes your friend oh my she serves you ah. hey. and I remember this great preacher wonderful preacher strong preacher ah, suddenly I started seeing him with his sister because she's in church she, she never gave her life to Christ at any time because when I met her many years after graduation, she was still a free thinker. Okay, so, but she does church things. Most of the churches in this town, she has been a um, choir member. Yes. And she brought those churches down. One lady. I don't have time and I will not say those things here. May the Lord give you understanding. This our great preacher had some form of sexual relations with this lady. And she is so bitter in the ordinations of darkness that if you if you transgress in that way, the oil of God will not come upon you again. This young man became dry. He became an object of attack from demons and devils. And that's how many of them in our time were slain by this lady. Many of them. But you see, at the end of the day, that protocol never began until there was a choice. How many of you have ever experienced spiritual dryness before? I have. That was the protocol of death. Yes. You might minister powerfully today and then tomorrow you are dry. It means you are not, you are short of the Holy Ghost. It's an emergency. You have to look for him. Because it is only him that is the spirit in the spirit realm that can quicken. The flesh profits not you can cover up for a long time but if the Holy Ghost is not there it will soon be obvious that that thing that quickens you that gives you a spark because the proof of the kingdom of God is life rejuvenation if there is no life it means you have a path with death you don't need to go too far to know what is the cause of this dryness I have watched many uh, heavy men many and anointed men that came down because of choices the protocol of death began to work and once upon a time a mighty preacher on this campus I saw him with cigarette in Abuja in a bank access bank central business district he was flowing on cigarette he had he had a shaft his haircut had a shaft haircut that was an evangelist that was a man of fire but he ended up with cigarette you know what he told me he said ah, so me i'm still striving to go to heaven that means they have their civilization have taken them beyond the hope that we have in in christ beyond this age that's death when it begins to walk out that protocol it will use your vocal cord to preach antichrist philosophies it's death that is at work you must be sensitive to identify when death is beginning to speak because death has a voice death has a lifestyle death has circumstances it has seasons it has times it has a gestation period satan might come and there's something pleasurable that he seems to be offering but what he's actually offering is death. I remember 
a classmate of mine you know those days i studied chemistry so this guy was a chemist he was my classmate they were the ones that pioneered black acts on this campus i mean those were the days where blood flowed here it's either you are a cultist or you are very sold out to god there was no middle line those days you you can become a chicken that will be used for sacrifice if you don't have any destination all the middle liners suffered heavily you know in rama the bible says rachel was weeping for her children and she could not be comforted because what there were no more that was a day where it was a crime to be a baby it's always a crime for you to be a spiritual baby when thrones fight it is you that suffers they use you to balance accounts use you to settle disputes and babies die since the headsmen started attacking have you heard that if any anointed man of god was was swept i was in Kano during the riot and i can tell you firsthand it's a very hard thing for somebody to die yes i can tell you i've been caught up in riots death knows where it goes it's not we are not all afraid no 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 we are not all afraid There are places that the headsmen can't go. They are, they are sorcerers. They are, they, are, they are astrologers. They map. They are trackers. When they see incense burning, they change course. They don't like to fight battles that they are not likely to win. The only way we will save Nigeria is by priesthood. In those days, a little one shall become a thousand. And a small one shall become a strong nation hallelujah